Hello and thank you for joining us. We at Forever Preserved have prepared the following step-by-step -step videotape for our international distributors and clients who would like to learn or improve the correct installation procedures of preserved palms. What you will see today is the installation methods used for both the preserved Phoenix and Washingtonia palms from the unpacking stage to the final finishing and artistic detail. The preserved palm is shipped in three separate packages. The palm trunk, which is packed separately, the steel base plate, which is used as the palm trunk support, and the palm fronds, which are also packed separately in custom boxes. The steel base plate has four corners, which can also be bolted directly to a concrete slab floor for maximum safety and security. The center steel pipe is used to slide the Phoenix palm trunk over it, as Ron is demonstrating. Once palm is securely rested over steel pipe, we are now ready to proceed to the installation of the preserved Phoenix fronds. The receiver heads have 39 cardboard inserts in each of the receiver head holes which will be removed one at a time and replaced with the appropriate phoenix fronds. It is possible that you will occasionally have a stem that is too wide to fit into the hole. In this case, just simply shave off the sides of the stem until they fit properly. It is important to begin at the top center first and work your way down. When placing Phoenix fronds into receiver head holes, make sure to firmly press all the way in for a secure and snug fit. Now that we have installed all the Phoenix fronds, Ron is applying his final artistic detail to his finished look. This may include repositioning or exchanging some fronds for longer or shorter ones, depending on the final touches needed. Here is the final finished look of the forever preserved Phoenix date palm. Part 2 is the assembly of the Washingtonia palm. As you can see, the Washingtonia palm is shipped in three separate packages. The palm trunk, which is packed separately in bubble pack, the steel base plate, and the palm fronds, which are also packed separately in custom boxes. As you can see, Ron is unpacking the Washingtonia palm trunk by cutting the packing material straight down. Once the trunk is unpacked, Ron proceeds to slide the steel base plate directly into the bottom end of the palm trunk. This technique is used mainly in taller and heavier palm trunks. The steel base plate has four corners, which can also be bolted directly to a concrete slab floor for maximum safety and security. Notice the defined tapering of the tree, making forever preserved palms realistically authentic. Trim fronds as needed to fit receiver holes. All of our Washingtonia fan fronds have a custom-built steel metal rod, which is drilled directly into each stem. 
This special feature not only allows for stronger overall frond support, but also gives the designer the option of gently bending the stem inward or outward for a realistic finished look. Note the frond has a front and a back side. The frond must be positioned as shown to be correct. The Washingtonia receiver head has 25 cardboard inserts in each of the receiver head holes which will be removed one at a time and replaced with the appropriate Washingtonia frond. It is important to begin at the top center first and work your way down. When placing Washingtonia fronds into receiver head holes, make sure to firmly press all the way in for a secure and snug fit. Here is the final finished look of the forever preserved Washingtonia fan palm. We would like to thank you for joining us and hope that this information will help you in your future installation projects of forever preserved palms.